Apple's new patent reveals optical image stabilization on their next smartphone camera. The Galaxy Note 3 Neo just got leaked in photos along with the current Note 3, and Sony rethinks their strategy in the United States market, finally. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if this video doesn't go up in the next two hours, look for me at the bar at the corner, please. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start off with some official news, as for those of you that thought that Sony was crazy with their ideas of neglecting the US market, well, the company has just come to their senses. They have now confirmed that they will start with the US market. And obviously, after our CES coverage, we do see the Z1 Compact and the C1S. I hate these names, but these are devices that are focused on the US market, which is great. And on other rumors, we are hearing that Sony is gonna work on a Windows Phone. They kind of officially said it, so let's see how that goes as Windows Phone 8.1. I can't remember when I heard about that. Now let's talk about Samsung's Android 4.4 KitKat update to their Galaxy lineup as we were kind of bumped about that whole UI thing that we saw at CES. Their tablet UI is really cool. We were expecting it to make it to the future Galaxy lineup and that's actually gonna happen. But then again, if you're talking about the current phones, uh, we've got some sad news. We've got some leaked photographs of the UI and it looks like the current touch was. So for those of you that want Samsung's new UI, as always with Samsung, you'll have to buy a new phone, sadly. Now, if you were wondering which is that secret OEM that's going to be working alongside Ubuntu on their future launch of their mobile operating system sometime in the year 2020, well, as it turns out, we are seeing that Meizu is probably going to be that OEM as we do see some leaked photos of the MX3 running the operating system. And since we did hear that Meizu wants to make a big launch in the United States, it could be that Ubuntu is going to be the way they're going to try this. But uh, let's just see, because you know that Ubuntu can be ported on just about everything if you've got the skill obviously, or at least you can fake it on a photo. Now, even though yesterday we were really disappointed at Apple, probably considering to keep the 8 megapixel sensor on their next generation iPhone, we got some patent details that say that things could probably get interesting as we see that Apple is finally embracing optical image stabilization on their camera for the future iPhone. But we can't really guarantee that's going to happen on the future iPhone, and we know that Apple does this sort of revamp and then improves the specification, so it could be that it could happen two years from now. But still, it's great to see Apple working on it. We just wonder how Apple plans to bring us the thin and light design that they're famous for and also give us the optical limit stabilization as well. Stay tuned for the rumors. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, we finally get the first leaked photograph of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo alongside the current Note 3. And if you were expecting something different, this is actually a smaller phone, but not necessarily a good phone. Because, well, it's got an LCD instead of an AMOLED panel. It's got less RAM. It does have an interesting processor, but everything else is less and less, which we don't understand given the fact that this phone is still bigger than the Galaxy S4. But again, they could probably have a different focus but that leads me to the question of the day. Um, would you be willing to buy a lighter Note 3 if you get less specifications than the current one? Because in my particular case, unless the price tag is significantly different, there is really no purpose in this phone, really. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.